welcome back to my channel and uh, today I'm going to show you how to use Windows program so within this Windows program you are going to know how to create folders how to set time how to access some other programs so to start with I just want you to understand that this space that you are seeing here is what we call desktop this desktop has accommodated some application uh, pictures which we call icons these are icons this one here the one I'm pointing we call them what icons and then the same same uh, screen you are seeing there's what we call there's this bar down here is called taskbar this taskbar has accommodated what we call time uh, the sound and then internet connection it is being revealed here on taskbar and when you open a program it normally uh, rests on taskbar and it taskbar also reveals the active program and inactive program and still on the same same taskbar it shows the start button like here and then you can access the program menu this, this is the program menu within the computer system. So, here, if you want to shut down the machine, you will come here to start, and then you can decide to shut down the, what? the machine using here. Or alternatively, if you want to restart your machine, you will come here to this arrow which is here, and then you can decide to restart the machine. Restarting the machine, it means that the machine will shut down, and then it will come up automatically it will just open itself automatically and then you can decide to log off the machine which means it will just be partially uh, logged off but it has not switched off so uh, if you want to open any program here you will come here to start and then you can decide to search here in this bar search box this bar is what we call search box you can search any program you want you can even like for example i want to search paint paint is here so i have um, opened this program because i want it maybe to draw something i want to draw something here to illustrate something so i can use paint program so as I told you earlier that I'm going to show you how to create folder and how do you create folder you just right click on your mouse on just on empty space on desk on desktop you right click and then you will go to new and then you go to folder so once you click there you will either decide to rename that one as maybe I can say KKO or you can put NNM or you can decide to right click there and then you rename that folder you can put any other name maybe i can decide to say like that and i can decide to hold down that folder and then i position it to the rest of the folders just in case i want them to be in order or sometimes if you want them to be arranged in order you will just right click on your desktop and then you go to view and you can click on automatic this one called auto arrange icons they will arrange automatically even if they are scattered they are scattered here on this desktop another thing is that you can also set the time using taskbar here just come here you left click you open and then you come here to change date and time you continue by change date and time this is where you can change your time and a date then from there you click okay you click okay and it will take effect here if you want to increase the volume of your headphones you'll have to come there and then you increase from there this thing goes up and down if your computer does not have internet you will just see it here this bar it will show that there's no internet 
So this taskbar is very important. Taskbar is this one here that I'm pointing. This is what we call taskbar. It is from the taskbar that you will know the active programs and the inactive programs. Now, I want to open one program here so that we can learn from it. For example, I want to open Word program. In this Word program, you will see it has got a lot of sections here. There's this top section and this one and then this one here. So in case you don't know, this section here you are seeing where they have written Microsoft Word, it is the section which is called title bar. It is called title bar because it has the name of the program that you have opened. And in the same same title bar, it has got what you call minimize button. When you click on this minimize, this program will go down here to taskbar as if you have canceled it, but not. It is just active, but you have hidden it down here. And if you want to go back or you want to bring it back to the screen or to the desktop to occupy the whole screen, you'll click there and then it will occupy the whole screen. And this button you are seeing here in the middle, it will make it to shrink, to be just on the screen like that. And if you want to click to bring it back, you have to click there, maximize. If you want to cancel this program, you will click on close the program. And then the program will be closed. So let me open that program once again. This, this bar here, this bar is what you call menu bar. This bar here, it, go, it, it is called menu bar because it has got the menu here like home tools, insert tools, page tools, and so on. So if you want to learn this program, you are supposed to understand these tools here. There are tools for underline like this U, tools for bold like this B, tools for colors like here. So you are supposed to understand. And in case you don't know, I have already illustrated how you can use Microsoft Office Word. I'm only illustrating this because I'm teaching what we call Windows. It is also part of it. So I can decide to close it. So these tools are very important. So, if you want to access any program within the machine and maybe you have forgotten where you have saved it, you will simply come here to start and then you search anything you want. You can search there, I can search like, I want to search like, uh, uh, like maybe VLC. It will open, it will give me a variety of them here, but I want this one here. This is what I want, you see? If you want to open any program, maybe you, there's a file that you have typed in, within the machine and you have forgotten where it is. Maybe you know the name, but you don't know which folder that you saved that program. You have to search that program there, and then it will come out. So this, this bar that you are seeing here is what we call at the program menu. This is what we call program menu. This program menu has got all the programs of the computer. If you want to access other programs, you'll, you'll come here to all programs. And then you'll see most of the programs that you have installed within your machine, they will be here. You only uh, have to choose what you want to use. And if you want to go back, you'll go back using that one there. So all the programs that you want to use, you'll find them here. So. Today, I just wanted to show you how you can use window program. And this window is just what I have just explained. This is what we call window. At the end of this, you are supposed to know how to create folder. You are supposed to know how taskbar is. You are supposed to know how program menu is. You are supposed to know how to open this program here. So that is what we call Windows program.